Weighing in at 133 US pounds. In his illustrious campaign in the ring, he brings along a record of 32 victories, 17 defeats, 16 big wins coming by way of a knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former four-time OPBF Bantamweight champion from Cagayan de Oro City, the Philippines, known as the Journeyman Rebirth, introducing Mark John Young! And now for the instructions by our referee in charge. Here we go, partner, our Filipino fellow man, Mark, the Rebirth Journeyman, or the Journeyman Rebirth, Yeah. In we any way decide. that you want to, <laughs> in any way what you want to, to to say is it a journeyman rebirth or rebirth journeyman uh it's up to you <laughs> yes but it's perfect because the philippine pride mark john Yap brings uh honor to our country by just uh giving us a good fight here at the grand motram against hassan sikdar of bangladesh remember sikdar's four win Three of them comes from a from a knockout. So I yes, think this it. boy from Bangladesh has some sort of a power too. Oh, for sure. And Mark Chanyap, as we know, has complete weapons. He's technical. He can be aggressive. He has a, a very, very full gas tank every fight. You can't uh, just Mark Chanyap. It's just high octane each time when he fights and and to add uh, to that um praise that you tell him i think uh, marjan yap is a young 34 years old uh, oh, i think yeah, um certainly. yeah and in marjan yap will dissect you uh, bit by bit uh, he will uh, test your body then he goes upstairs downstairs and uh certainly you're absolutely right and of course with that defense it's also hard to hit in moving and a defensive mark john yap i think uh, mark john yap on this fight is um is, is quite big and it's his natural super feather and i think um sikdar is a little bit small on on this division but you could never ever uh discount uh that disadvantage uh, to this fight certainly that left counter of sikdar is uh, dangerous as well however yeah is doing a good job setting up his body attacks mm -hmm. with with jabs and streets and things like that mm -hmm. certainly a veteran in this game is mark john yeah. and if you really uh, uh, a, a good um, uh, audience in, in in boxing. You know that Marjan Yap is good in cutting the ring. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And he doesn't get tired. You know that constant movement by Marjan Yap shows you how well he manages his his stamina and his 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 energy. I remember. Um on his uh, last fight against uh, Leonardo Doronio, uh, he, he fought uh, a bigger man, Doronio, a natural lightweight division. But he dissected Doronio from round one to round to, 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 the, to round number four, where he stopped Doronio by a TKO or knockdown. Certainly. You know, what I like also about uh, Mark John Yap is his patience. He stays patient. Uh, he doesn't rock like what he did here on round number one against uh, the Bangladeshi boxer. But I'm quite happy, partner, to see boxers from for, for, for Bangladesh because mm -hmm. um the more the more fighter comes out from Bangladesh, the better uh, for, uh, for Asian course. countries. Definitely, and for Hassan Sikdar. Uh, is no push over himself with four wins, two losses, and two draws. Some of the highlights of that bout that shows you how well Marjan Yap moves back every combination. You see, uh, it's hard for Sigdar to catch him 
uh, when he counters. We're entering uh, round number two of, of this fight between uh, uh, our own Mark John Yap uh, from Cagayan de Oro, uh, Philippines against Hasim Sikdar of Bangladesh. Sikdar moving side to side, trying to make Mark John Yap miss with his shots. I think one of the signature punches of Sikdar is the left it's either a left cross right. or a left hook right absolutely right Ooh, oh yeah with right. that overhand but they they clash to their heads unintentionally though that was an uh, unintentional headbutt The good thing, I think, we both, mm -hmm. the good thing is, I think both fighters did not um, have that, that uh, something bad cut on that clash of heads. Oh yes, because we certainly want more from this fight between Mark John Yap of the Philippines versus Hassan Sektar of Bangladesh. Yap with those devastating body mm -hmm. shots. Look at how uh, Mark Yap um, try to be patient. He is a veteran. Yes. Try to be patient. He's not mm -hmm. gonna rush in um, to you. He want to see some opening. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly right. And of course, he is not uh, distracted with the movement of Sikdar, just moving in with with such composure. Yeah, almost walking down on Sikdar. Sikdar is yet to solve the puzzle of Mark John Yap. Actually, Yap's of uh, defense is his offense. You can see it's hard to get through uh, Mark John Yap when he punches. Good foot uh, movement by Sikdar, but he has to, at this point, uh, do something to hurt Mark Zonia. Or probably gain the respect of Mark Zonia. Right, right, exactly. Oh, Taking nice overhand by uh, Sikdar did connect with that tremendous overhand on uh, Mark Zonia. Yeah, does a good job uh, cutting the ring. There you have it. Beautiful combination by Mark John Yap to the body. Yeah, very aggressive in that round. But I think you will agree with me, uh, partner, that Mark John Yap is the opposite outside the ring. He's a mild mannered. Very friendly, yeah. very, yeah. very peace-loving yeah. person. You could, you could add to that he is a comedian type of a guy. Exactly. He always, he always crack a joke every now and then to make uh, his company a little bit uh, livelier. Definitely, but inside the ring, it's a different mark. John Yap, as we look at the highlights of that round, look at that, just uh, demolition by Mark John Yap to the head, into the body of uh, his opponent. But but I do remind you, Sikdar did connect it with a powerful left uh, uh, to, the, to the forehead of Mark John Yap. That was uh, probably the best shot from uh, Sikdar in that round. Here we go now, round number three. Yep, the Filipino still targeting the body. 
all the sector consecutive uh, right hands from Yak to the head of sector. You could sense that uh, Marjanya is trying to set up something. Uh. Definitely. Because Yak. No mistake about. No, no, mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, partner. And no mistake about it. Sikdar is, is, is also a hard target. To, uh, uh, for sure, for sure. You know, he doesn't stay stationary. He's moving forward, moves to the left. Uh, right now, he's trying to counter. But there you have it. Moves out of harm's way. That, that left to the body, my macho and yap, seemingly. Uh, got effect on uh, Siktar. Oh, that body attacked by uh, Marjanya. Exactly. Jab to the head and the, straight to the body by Yap, a cover that missed for Siktar. And Yap does not leave you. He just stays in front and continuously just unleashes those combinations against Sektar partner. This you is may not be in trouble when you're... For yeah. Because um, Marjan Yap is, is, is trying to carry uh, Sektar to the corners and try to pummel him uh, on that uh, side of the ring. Definitely. Oh, another nice body. Oh, oh, I think it's enough. The referee enough did uh, stop this um, contest. So it is probably a third round TKO for uh, Mark Yap, who is uh, now on a three fight winning streak. Ladies and gentlemen, this action is now coming to an end. Jeff After two Papa minutes and 33 Ali seconds of round number three, corner, your referee right is there. called a halt to the contest, declaring your winner by way of TKO victory. From the Philippines, the journeyman Weaver. Marjan Yapa winning by third round ticket.